DVD-5 is all the submission attacks. I'm going to reposition. I'm going to start out with the fist choke, then the V arm lock, then the straight arm lock attack. Let's drop this wall! Let's drop this wall! Let's drop this wall! From the guard position, I've got to bring him down close to me. Uh, I can't let him sit up because if he does, I can't do this choke. So this choke will happen now when he's really tight in here like this. So all I'm going to do is grab my fist and put it into his throat. Reach up and grab my arm and then I'm going to extend my legs. If my legs are low, I can't, I can't lock him here. I've got to keep my legs as high as I possibly can. So I might end up walking my legs up like this and now uh, squeezing and choking. So again, the fist will go in the throat. This is when his head's down. Fist will go in the throat, grab the top of your arm, hold it tight, and I'm gonna actually bring both elbows back. As I bring both elbows back, I'm gonna climb my legs up as tight as I can, maybe even figure four, and squeeze and put the fist in the throat. Fist comes here, reach it up, put my legs up, and squeeze. Bring it up here, and squeeze. Bring this up here, and squeeze. Bring it on the throat. Again, we're here, he's sitting up. If I want to break him down, I bring my knees up. If he starts pinning his hands, I pull his elbows and break them out. Fist comes up, arm comes behind the head, fist comes up, grab it. Keep it tight and squeeze. Or squeeze. Okay, that's fist choke from the guard. In this attack sequence, we call this the bent arm lock, also known as Udigarami, V arm lock, hammer lock, paintbrush, or Americana lock. This is called a bent arm lock. And there's a bent arm lock this way and bent arm lock that way. I refer to this lock as a V arm lock. This is the way I was taught it in Shuto. But in other arts and systems, they call it other things, which it's all the same lock. These are just different variations of that lock and ways to get them. The key on this is to get his elbows up as high as I can. He has less strength in his arms when his elbows are up. So what I'm going to do from right here is I'm just going to bring my hips up and I'm going to put all my weight down. I'm going to leave my chest on his chest and put all my weight down on that wrist. If my arms resist, if my arms are bent, he can resist. But if my arms are straight, it's all my body weight, placing the weight down on the mat. So from right here, when I hip up, I put all my body weight down. Now right from here, my hooks slide in, my body weight is on him, my chest is on center line, I slide this underneath, I offset his head. My head goes on the floor and I slide this down. Again, from this way, I go two arms, stiff arm, elbow offsets his head, my hooks go all the way in, I slide this down and bring it up. A lot of people will lift this, this is okay, but if he hips up at all, he can't get it. So you want to keep this at a 90 degree angle and slide, the key here is to slide the wrist in the same line as the shoulders. And keep your chest on his chest, hips down, head down. 
Head is up, you can get punched, and he can bridge. Okay. If my head's down, he can't do either. So this attack actually slides down. I bring my weight up, bring it down, offset his head, slide my hips down, and slide it down. Come up, keep this down, elbow down, hooks in, slide it down. In the guard positions, there are many, many ways to take the arm lock. We're just going to take three basic ways that we can use that we could probably catch most people with if we get really good at them. So these are a few ways we're going to attack the arm lock from the guard. The key here is controlling the elbows or the wrists. Okay, so your basic, your basic attack we just start out with is just to develop your hip movement. Your hips got to slide off center. You never want to just try to do this to arm lock. The only time you'll do that is if he reaches up for my head and I pull his head down. This is one of the only times you're going to start to try to take this. If the guy's any good or strong, you're not going to catch his arms here. But if he starts to cinch his, gets his legs in and starts to get up like he is, now this is easier for me to work my spin to take the lock. So some people, they start to reach in the guard. Just maybe they don't know how to pass the guard. They don't understand that you have to sit back to pass the legs. So some people will actually start to punch or they'll sit forward into you like this or their arms will be bent and they'll be grabbing up at your head and stuff like this. Uh, a lot of people don't have jiu-jitsu training, Brazilian jiu-jitsu training, and learn how to open the legs. So they'll grab your head or do whatever they can here. So from this position, I would hold his head down, cross over his shoulders, and open these up backwards as I squeeze my legs forward. Okay, just like that. Now to arm lock from here, I hook and hold his elbow. I bring my hand underneath his leg. Look at my leg, how tight that is. Loop this over. And now I just, the tighter my legs are, the easier this is for me to lock him. If my legs are loose, look how much pressure I need. If my legs are tight, look at I just need a finger and my hips. So the loop is just gonna go boop, and this leg's gotta be high on his back. Okay, again, he grabs, I pull his head down, I reach over, I hip up. I reach under here, I keep this leg tight, and this loops over extremely tight, and I start to hip up. Okay, if he stacks me, puts all my weight into my neck, I cross my feet, I open my legs as much as I possibly can, and arm lock him from here. Or I will rotate over my shoulder and finish the lock on the other side. That's because I got stacked. Okay. Bring it up, keep it up, bridge. He stacks me, cross my feet, open and lock here. So I'm opening, offsetting his head. He still stacks me. I rotate through the bottom and arm lock him on this side with my legs extremely tight. 